Jefferson said once, tyranny is when the people fear the government. We're there. Sadly, we are there. But I don't think, I don't think the good people, I don't think the good people of this great country are going to cower and hide because Americans value freedom. A few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, Terry McAuliffe said this, I don't think parents should be telling schools what to teach. I don't think parents should be telling schools what they should teach. America's going to fight the good fight. They're going to finish the course. They're going to keep the faith because Americans value freedom. Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we have a video we'd like to play. Mr. Chairman. We have a video we'd like to play. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Dean. I object. What purpose does Ms. Dean seek recognition? I object. I'm reserving my right to object to the video. Why, why would May you I inquire that? as to whether the gentleman has followed the Judiciary Committee's AV protocol by, by providing 48 hours notice to the committee's clerk that he was going to use a video? We provided notice. Well, well first of all, there's no 48-hour rule that's not in the committee rules. Second, we did let the committee staff, the majority, know that we had a video, responding and we gave the to video the, to him this morning. Responding to the general lady's request, he did not. He did not supply the 48 hours rule. Uh, 48, hours, no, the 48 hours notice required by the rule. Mr. Chairman. Then I insist on my objection. Mr. Having Chairman. failed to follow the bipartisan protocol, I insist on my objection. An objection has been heard. The video will not be shown. I appeal the ruling of the chair. The ruling has been made. There's been an objection. There's been no ruling that was made. There's been no ruling that's been made. There's been an objection. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to speak regarding no, the... No, that, that's out of order. This is not debatable. Well, what's out of order is there is no rule that requires a 48-hour notice. That's what's out of order. There is such a rule. There is not. Not in our rules. Mr. Chairman, what are you afraid of? There is such a rule. You objected last year. You were told there was such a rule. Mr. Um, Mr. Chairman, what are our colleagues on the other side of the aisle afraid of? Are they afraid of videos of parents? The gentleman was recognized for his opening statement. Is he finished with his opening the statement? I'm not finished with my opening statement. I seek recognition for a moment. It's, it's, it's not a rule. It's, it's uh, what you said. I think the term you used is it's protocol. The gentlewoman objected. The, the conduct of the committee. Rules do. That's not a rule. We had a video. We understood you had a video. I seek recognition for a parliamentary inquiry. Gentlewoman objected because you failed to follow the rule. Her objection is sustained. Mr. Chairman, I see. Does the gentleman have anything else? I see. We had a recognition had, for a parliamentary we had, inquiry. We had. Yeah, but, uh, it's, uh, I'll yield back in just a second, and, and particularly if you're going to recognize me. yields back? No, I haven't yielded back yet. I said I will in a second. It's a video about parents at school board meetings, moms and dads speaking at school board meetings, and you guys aren't going to let us play it? The, it will not be played. An objection has been heard that uh, you failed to give the 48 hours request re required by the rule, and therefore what, what will rule, not be heard. Mr. Chairman? What rule? You have to say. Parliament inquiry. What rule? Please present the rule. In the case of audio ma visual materials under the leadership of my predecessor, Chairman Goodlatte, a Republican, the committee developed a written protocol for managing the use of audiovisual materials in our hearings. Written protocol. This protocol simply requires members to provide 48 hours notice they are going to use audiovisual materials. Until recently, this, con this protocol was not controversial. It was a helpful tool we used to manage hearings and make sure videos played properly. The gentlewoman has objected to the materials because the gentleman did not provide the agreed upon 48 hours notice. Playing audiovisual materials during a committee hearing is the equivalent of introducing printed materials into the hearing record. In the normal course of business, we do not object to each other's requests, but members have the right to object if they so choose, and an objection has been heard. M Mr. Chairman, did we ever vote on that? It, the gentleman is That's a clever written statement, but a, a protocol is not a rule. Statement. Mr. Chairman, obviously you're not going to let us play it. Obviously you're going to censor us, which is sort of the, the, the conduct of the left today, it seems, um, and Democrats today, it seems. I'll, I yield back uh, the balance of my time. Local school board meetings growing more contentious. No, no.
let's go. I'm asking you to walk outside, sir. Attorney General Merrick Garland last week ordered the FBI to look into what he called a disturbing spike in harassment, intimidation, and threats of violence against school board members and other K-12 educators. That followed a request from the National School Board Association for an investigation of what it called threats against its members, likening actions by some parents to, quote, domestic terrorism. This is absolutely unacceptable. In a modern democracy for the Attorney General of the United States to sick the FBI on parents concerned about their children's education, to begin to classify them at the behest of the National School Board Association as domestic terrorists is the end. It's the final line. It's the straw that breaks the camel's back. Let's call it what it is. They are saying that moms are now domestic terrorists because we are standing up for our children. CRT is racist, it is abusive, it discriminates against one's color. Just coming off of May 31st, marking the 100 years of the Tulsa riots, it is sad that we are even contemplating something like critical race theory, where children will be separated by their skin color and deemed permanently oppressors or oppressed in 2021. Two medical degrees, no mom, no dad in the house, worked my way through college, sat there and hustled my butt off to get through college. You gonna tell me somebody that looked like all y'all white folks kept me from doing that? Are you serious? I am not oppressed. I'm not oppressed and I'm not a victim. I have three children. They are not oppressed either, although they are victims. Racism in America would by and large be dead today if it were not for certain people and institutions keeping it on life support. Sadly, one of those institutions is the American education system. I have personally heard teachers teaching CRT and we have had an assembly shut down because Duval County Public School System consultant thought it would be a great idea to separate students by race. This is unacceptable. My five-year-old is being peddled transgender books in her library. Teenagers are being served pornography under the guise of young adult literature. Do something, be a leader. Because if you know what, the citizens of this county deserve better. I don't know about you, but telling my child or any child that they are in a permanent oppressed stat, uh, status in America because they are black is racist. And saying that white people are automatically above me, my children, or any child is racist as well. My child is not oppressed, and don't assume that. As long as you Marxists push your unconstitutional agenda on my child, she will not be returning back to Loudoun County Schools. You cannot tell me what is or is not racist. Look at me. I quit your policies. I quit your trainings. And I quit being a cog in a machine that tells me to push highly politicized agendas on our most vulnerable constituents, the children. This is not something that we can stand for in our country. And don't take it from me, look at the writers of these types of uh, publications. Our ancestors, white, black, and others hung, bled, and died right alongside each other to push America towards that more perfect union. If this continues, we will look back and be responsible for the dismantling of the greatest country in the world by reverting to teaching hate and that race is a determining factor on where your destiny lies.